Hi guys, Akash here. So today I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use Notion. Basically, Notion is a software which is normally used uh, to keep a track of things, uh, to maintain a documentation of anything. Uh, for example, if you are uh, handling an event, okay, so you can use Notion to create on all updates of what you are going to, uh, what are you doing, or what are your teammates doing, and you can even uh, have a live status update means uh, what is everyone doing if if there are a team of five or four uh, uh, if one guy completed a task he can update update yeah i have done this uh, yeah i have done this and the second guy basically it uh, it it is a basically a platform where it helps you to keep a track of anything easily and it has so many features it has so many uh, powerful features which creates a great impact on anything uh, you're gonna do or uh, you're gonna use notion for uh, yeah now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use notion from the beginning uh, you did no need to have any prior knowledge or anything I'm just gonna start from the beginning and I'll try to explain you as much as possible as easy as possible hope you get it okay uh, let's uh, start with the notion so basically this is the starting home page when you download it you can download it for windows or mac any anything from the notion website itself basically this is the thing uh, which you see when you first open the notion uh, let's uh, getting started so let's not disturb anything of this let's create a unique page of ourselves i know i'm going to make a dedicated page uh, for a technique sessions which we are doing right now so what i am going to do is uh, i'll just i'll uh, make a page where i can keep a track of all the sessions which are happening uh, with, uh, with the status of the sessions etc uh, means uh, this is the page where i can store anything any content uh, regarding the technique sessions which are happening now now uh, let's name the page okay so see basically this is the dedicated page for technique sessions so i can just add an icon so i can use any emoji uh, given here so this icon session is a custom icons uh, made dedicated for notion and these are in a default color you can also go uh, set any color here you can choose green you can choose uh, blue etc any color or you can just uh, on it on ask every time option so when if you try to use this uh, bread icon you will get all the different types of colors so you can use it and there is a there is an, another option that uh, custom icons so you can paste any link here from the google or you can just upload the file now i will opt to upload the image I'll use and oh, upload this image. See, I can see the uploaded image. Now there is an, another option. I can add a cover for this. See, as you can see, uh, there are different covers here. I can also change the cover. Like, think there is a gallery. It's for a Notion separate, uh, separate for Notion, where you can choose a different types of uh, things here. You can see it's getting changed here. Or you can upload. Uh, the file here or you can even uh, provide a link here so in the cover pages uh, there is a special feature for this like you can even provide an animated gif where it will uh, which you'll where it will be playing in the background as you know gifs look good uh, see i'll i'll go to the google and as this up uh, you can find uh, various gifts in pinterest website so i am going to use this gif currently i'll just copy the image address and i will go to notion and i will just paste this link and i'll just submit as this uh, takes some time to reflect here yeah see now we got a gif here and this gif keeps on playing in the background which looks good which looks attractive so even if when you visit the page uh, the page looks good, neat, uh, where you can work on. See, now I just create an empty page. Yeah, so all the options are gone. I just don't want those. I just want to create a personalized 
speech for myself now okay so as i have a heading called technish so now basically i'll just add a, a description what technish session is so basically uh, you can use this slash for getting all the blocks basically everything in notion is a block okay so if even this technish thing is a block and whatever content i'm going to add is a separate block which can be customized which can be changed we can play uh, and we can do anything with the each each and every block now i'm just going to choose some text uh, so this can i'm going to add a description for the technish session it is an initiative initiative taken so this is the description so basically i can edit this uh, content by say i can make it bold i can make it red i can underline it or i can even change the color see now i can even change this block into text heading 2 3 anything i want now even there is an exclusive option in notion called ask ai basically this is a new feature added by notion and it's basically not free it will just gives us a 20 prompts which we can do see there are these so many options in the ai so i can improve the writing fix spelling and grammar make it shorter make it longer as i want description more long i just use the make it longer thing see it has used now i will replace this section with the ai generated thing this is what happens when i use it and you are done with this block and i just want to create another block just go and tap down uh, see a uh, default thing has been created here and now i'm just going to uh, slash here when you keep a, uh, do a slash it's just a shortcut to initiate a uh, basic blocks thing see there are so many different types of blocks you can create like this the text page to do list there are three types of headings means there will be a heading subheading sub subheading it will be uh, we'll do like that right so heading 1 is a big section heading 2 is a medium section etc you can add a table you can add a bullet list you can add a number list you can add toggle list etc there are so many thing even you can add images uh, bookmarks videos audio files and you can also add uh, different links of your uh social media twitter github google drive etc there is so many options you can do now i am going to choose another heading head and i am going to choose heading 1 so now i am going to uh, type sessions sessions see okay now uh, basically i am going to use another subheading <coughs> and now i'm going to choose notion notion see in this subheading now i'm going to add subheading 3 that and then let's try uh, to do things no i'll just start to uh, yeah to do things yeah now i can i will add a to do list and now i'll do prepare prepare for prepare for session i just if i press and enter again automatically another box gets created and i will make sure make sure everything is covered record the session see so now this is the to uh, to do things okay so when i am completed with the preparing of session i'll just click on the uh, uh, click box see as it is striked away 
now i make sure everything is covered it just right away and after i completed i will complete the recording this session i'll just click on this dialog box and i'll it it shows it's i have completed the session now so again uh, i'll click on the boxes it will get unchecked this is the functionality of the to do things now i can even change see i have this as i said everything is separate box block c this is a separate block this is a separate block and this is also a separate block now when i choose this and i can even turn it into text see now this is this turn into text now I, again i can turn it into bullet list it got turned into bullet list now i can turn it into anything i want i can turn it to a column bullet list number list etc anything now see if uh, there are many many number of to do things like if you are 10 15 you can't uh, change everything one by one right so there is an option that you can you can select all these go here turn into bullet list see you now everything got turned into bullet list i got this extra okay now everything got turned into bullet list so now uh, you can uh, change uh, here simultaneously and do anything now there is an other option called toggle now i'll change this into toggle list okay so basically a toggle list is something that you can add content under uh, one block see there is a it's for uh, to be precise a block under a block okay now prepare for the session is there make sure everything is covered in make sure everything is covered i want to use uh, wait a first and type icon first basically you have to, i have to teach i have to teach this is a icon, i teach how to keep an icon this is an icon see now as make sure everything is covered icon cover page cover page uh, all types of blocks etc so now i can even this toggle works like this i can hide everything inside this whenever i need it i can just uh, toggle this and all the content comes down and you have created a toggle list and you feel i don't want this content under a toggle list i just want it to be a normal thing no i'll i'll just now i'll just go here turn it into text see now the toggle list has gone and this is this will become a main heading now i if you want i will just turn it into a heading see, make sure everything is covered it gets turned into the heading and you can this all comes under this this is how it works now for example i just turn it turn back into text now uh, you don't want this all content in your main page okay uh, you just want everything to have uh, you want to have everything in a, a separate page under the technish thing yeah you will be able to do it now i'll uh, click here turn into page now well go here and i'll search for technish see i have found technish now i'll click it see make sure everything is covered has become a page see i can even change the icon here same process uh, default uh, notion icons you can use emojis or you can even upload a custom icon i am good with this icon so i'll go with this and now you want all this content to uh, move you want to move this content into the make sure everything is covered page now i'll choose now i'll here i'll choose move to and i will search for make sure everything is covered and i'll click see everything is gone and now if you click here you will be able to see a separate page for make sure everything is covered and you can see everything has been transferred to here okay now see you can even uh, add different types of links to the see now I just go here. I just go to a video. 
now i'll have to paste the video link i'll go i'll copy the link and i'll paste it here paste it the link here now i have embed the video here see this is the playlist link now if you if i click here it will be redirected to the youtube and you will be able to see all the playlists see one by 17 there are total 17 different sessions happened till now and you will be able to access the whole playlist where all the videos are there so, see every, this is nothing but you are get uh, means gathering everything together so that it will be easy to access easy to manage and easy to do everything now uh, let's go uh, here okay so, and yeah. now i will add uh, another page i will add another empty page and i'll call it as uh, database okay i'll create an empty page okay i'll make it big okay so here also you can add an icon add a cover anything you can do see this is all this database this database page is also under technician so i'll go here okay i just want to add a database here to track uh, to track all the different types of sessions which are which which are, which have happened which are going to happen and which are in which which are happening currently so now a database is uh, nothing but it is a basically a table but not an ordinary table database is a table which yeah. has different types of uh, uh, which has different types of uh, content where you can uh, where you can store uh, everything, you can uh, update everything, and uh, it it is a basically a table which has more content and more uh, productivity uh, than a normal table. Okay, now let's see. Now I'll just uh, create a database full page. Okay. Now I'll create it as sessions. Now I'll create it as session name. session name now and see I'll, I just don't want this I'll de delete this property I'm going to create another property called date see date now I'll go there and I'll, I'll, I'll add another property and I will add it as status see there's option called status and you also want to know who is the person taking uh, taking the session so i'll just uh, select text and i'll name yeah. it as student name student name okay i'll click enter yeah see you are able to see everything here now I'll add a, a, a let's go to Google let's uh, see our playlist here this is the playlist technician session playlist uh, let's randomly choose something uh, let's choose flutter okay yeah. let's go uh, flutter is the session taken by Aryan Jain uh, let's go to the let's type let's type flutter and let's choose a random date let's guess uh, 10th of october and we'll mark status as done and a student name aryan j and now i'll come and add note i'll no yeah now i have done everything flutter I have given a date as October 10th and I have status I have updated as done and now now we'll go to go back to the now, now we'll go back to the Google as you can see the playlist here now we'll go back now we'll choose another playlist recent one let's choose students permissions Red Hat Linux administration which is done by Darshan now let's go back to Notion and let's 
in short let's take as a red hat and let's choose this is done on 26 of october okay let's choose this it should be, it is done today and let, let's choose it's in progress and it's done by darshan now let's choose notion and let's choose the date as number yeah. first and as will not started and i'll add my name akash yeah this is the thing so now see basically you can do this in a normal table why use databases now i'll go uh, i'll just show you how database is used uh, why database is so productive now uh, i'll just go to flutter and then choose open yeah. see flutter has a separate and dedicated uh, page for each and every section here now uh, see database using databases now flutter has a, a dedicated uh, page here now even i can add an icon i will go to icon and just use a plane and just use this plane see flutter date is automatic automatically updated status student name now i can even add a property okay now i just uh, want to add a link here i just want to add a link and then just copy the link of the session here just go you go to notion copy link choose embed video done see got the video here now even i can add comments okay i can add comments like the session was great rem explained very well yeah and even i can add uh, different types of blocks you can even add uh, another to-do list or a bullet list like what to be noted what good he has done anything if you need uh, anything you need to change any suggestions or any uh, specific mentions you have, you have done in the video etc <coughs> like you can add images etc etc you can add same all the process can be done here and flutter this thing will have an separate uh, database for itself now you can even create uh, this same database for red hat same database for motion and etc and yeah so now we are done uh, with creating a database now we'll see what are other features which a database can provide us as now you can see a plus option beside the table once you click here you will be able to see a different types of views here okay now what we have seen before is table view now we will go and choose a board view okay let's click done so in the in the uh, board view you can see notion uh, red hat and flutter you can even uh, change these positions by just dragging it here dragging it up here dragging notion here etc as you can see it has segregated each and everything as a not started in progress and done sessions now if i pull notion and keep it as a not started and i'll go to go into the table as you can see it just changes into not started now if i go to board and if i drag flutter into done as you can see in the table the flutter has been changed to done see basically you can change everything you can uh, do everything here in the board uh, in the board view this is another view which makes you to uh, track the status of each and every session easily change the status of a, a each and every session so it makes easy and everything now as you can see I, I can even edit the notion i can even edit the icon here i can even do other things i can go here i can even delete it duplicate it etc i can go here and three options hide delete pages etc this is an, another type of view now i'll go add and I'll this this timeline view if you go to the timeline view as you can see it's 30 
30 means in the board in timeline view 30 it's a red hat now if i go to the timeline view and if i go more after october 10 this is flutter and now if i go to november 1st i get here notion so this is a different type of view called timeline now there's a gallery view there's a calendar view etc etc which you can uh, uh, use it here which gives a different perspective of what uh, table you have made it's uh, basically makes very convenient for you uh, to check and what dates uh, event is there and uh, what event is what's the pro status of in each and every event and what's the means here you can see the whole data at at, at same point etc like that now well, what we can do is uh, let's go uh, here Okay, let's go to the main page. Uh, I'm going to uh, create an uh, another text page. Okay, I'll just create a uh, heading one. I'll just create. I'll just call it a sync. Okay, now I will create a table here. Okay, in this table, I, I don't need this much big table. I'll just make it two columns. I'll just create notion notion by akash okay now what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this okay now I'll create a sync now I'll copy this sync block and paste it here okay now what I what I will do is I will copy that sync now I'll go into the databases here or I'll make sure everything happens and I will paste it here okay now I'll click notion okay I'll choose flutter and I'll choose Arial now I'll go back to technician session and if you see everything got changed see, see this is how sync works basically you're syncing uh, two databases uh, in two pages where you can edit uh, both at the same time and all the data gets uh, synced immediately so it's basically useful where you need the same data in two places where you don't need to edit the in both places if you just edit it as at one place it just get automatically updated in the other place so this is an another option where you can uh, easily edit and do everything and if you want uh, to uh, if, and if you want to edit a single place if you want to desync everything you just go choose the unsync all option now if I change here to notion motion to Akash now I want to make sure everything is done see it's not saved it's just flutter Arial. nothing has changed here but if I go here, it's Notion Akash. See, this is this is the thing which happens. So this is how sync works in a uh, Notion. So this basically this is uh, totally about uh, Notion. It's not totally about Notion, but most things which you are going to use or which you're going to uh, do in Notion. Okay. Now, uh, what what if uh, multiple people wants to use the same page uh, you in, as of now i showed how to create a page for me how to keep it how to keep a track of the event for myself except uh, my, myself etc so now there's an option called in notion create a team space okay a created team space is uh, where i can convert this current page into a team space where I can add different types of people. Like I can add all the 
students who are uh, taking sessions in the technish event so they can come here and they can go to this sessions database they can add a new column for themselves they can add their event name for themselves they can add uh, a date of their event they can add the status of their event they can they can add their event name now they can even create an uh, separate page they, they themselves can add links of their events themselves can give a description themselves they can uh, add different points which they want to mention out about their video etc so it becomes easy for everyone so everyone keep a track of their event and everyone can know what is happening in other uh, videos and etc so and uh, if for example if i have uh, I, ha I have faced a problem during my session and i had mentioned it in my uh, under my session page so other people can go to my session page visit my session page and read the description and get to know about the and get to know about the problem which i faced during my session and they can take care of that problem while they are recording their session so this is uh, this is a one type of option which it can be used like that and so this page uh, team space is a feature which helps uh, for a group of people to work on a same page uh, which will be more easy and productive now after i created this page if now i just want to share this page i'll just go uh, click on the share option now i can add people who are already in notion see as it's my name is akash kumar's notion as you everyone people will have uh, different types of names diff uh, or e even i can use your uh, email id or even i can add a, uh, add a group and even i can send you an invite or else i can even publish this i can even publish this to web like the copy the web link this link expires never like i can even choose monthly yearly see there are totally different types of plans in also notion let's not i think that's not needed for now let's not discuss about it uh i'll just share a link expires never i can even choose people can edit or people can add comments add allow to duplicate as template so there is an even option uh, I, 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 I think you guys have used word in, in word or even in powerpoint there are different types of templates you can get in google like that you, you can even get different types of templates in for notion in google itself there are so many different websites where they provide a different and innovative uh, templates which they have made for themselves see as you can see now it, sh it is showing an option there so uh, like search duplicate du duplicate there see you you can after you publish this into the web if someone is visiting your page they can even duplicate your template and they can edit the content in it itself it's basically as it's same as powerpoint and word but it's it's used for notion and it's a, a very good feature where you can uh, not make everything by yourself and you can just use a template which is made by creators and you can use unpublished view site etc yeah this is the thing this is how you share this is uh, what uh, this is where all the comments appear when uh, if anybody do comments and this is all updates see now what all updates have done here these are all the updates which where we come with the, this keeps a track of what I have done analytics see this, uh, I have done all the updates on today itself how many views are there in last 28 days etc etc this all features will be there and now I, even I can just use the favorite icon and use favorite this page this comes into my favorite section I can even create a new page here this I'll go to settings I'll just my account my settings I can edit all the members who are there in my workspace and etc these are groups uh, these are the guests basically you can create uh, groups by upgrading upgrading it to the monthly plans okay the, i'm currently mostly uh, i suggest to use the free version uh, basically if you want to use the ai ai thing or if you want to maintain a groups use it uh, for your organization etc you can uh, upgrade it basically it, it, it will give a free trial for 14 days you can use the free trial also yeah you can security and there's another feature where you can import 
uh, other documents for example there is a word document which you have already have images uh, links text uh, bullet list everything etc or if you have a csv file any file which uh, it is shown which is showing here you can uh, import the file into the notion and it will totally create the whole word file into the notion page and you can edit everything uh, see everything in the notion page it, it, it will be become more easy for you uh, to convert anything from word to notion and it it uh, does it a pretty good uh, you will not mostly will not face any problems about a conversion of text uh, import import importing the images from the word file uh, notion does it good uh, from my experience i have never faced any problems in this process that's all for the session guys uh, thanks for coming uh, hope i have provided you a quality content here i uh, hope you learned basics of notion without having any doubts if you have any doubts uh, please do uh, reach out uh, ipcs uh, insta handle or any social media handle where uh, i will be able to clear your doubts or even you can reach out into the comments i'll be checking the comments and uh, help help you out if if possible uh, thanks uh, thank you for coming here hope you learn best bye keep learning